Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can use MIDI effects inside Entrack Studio. It's something that has been recently added, so it's a welcome addition. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, first of all, let's click on the menu and let's select new song. And then select no, I don't want to save the current song. And let's click on compose as a template. Now let's choose an, um, an internal sound for the first track. So let's click on piano keys, acoustic piano and Steinway ground. Okay. Nice, nice piano. Now we have an audio track and a MIDI track. We don't need that audio track, so let's close it. Now let's click on the icon here on that track. And we are inside the end track sampler view. Now let's click on this icon here to reveal the navigation uh, pane here where we can add uh, additional items. So you can see the first one is the sampler, which is sampling the piano. Okay, let's click on the plus sign. And now you, you can see that in the list we have also um, suppliers or developers of uh, MIDI effects. So let's start with uh, Gem, okay. And let's go for a chord bud too. This helps you to create progression of chords. So let's try straight away. So let's create a small chord progression, something like that. Let's select the F chord and also put a seventh in. So let's close this and now let's go back right at the beginning of the track and let's click play. As you notice, it repeats uh, the loop which has been defined if you go back here and you select uh, Core but 2 in here, right? So which you can also click play from here. Really nice. Now I want to show you also that you combine, you can combine in Cascade the effect, additional MIDI effects. So let's click on the plus sign again. Let's select the same developer and this time let's choose our bad two. And now let's click play. What's happening now is that uh, a chord bud 2 is sending the chord progression to our bud 2 and then a hard bud 2 uh, create a pattern based on those chord progressions. So let's choose the type of notes that we want to play um, coming uh, from the chords. So something like um, these. Let's create a pattern. Why not? Like so. Let's play. I recommend that if you don't know how to use R but 2 or Chord but 2 that you watch other tutorials that I have created in the channel because they explain how each of uh, them work. Okay, let's close this. So we have created the first track and like this you can continue. So let's create an, another instrument track and then let's choose this time a, uh, why not, a synth. Uh, a more electronic synth. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Let's choose this majestic pad. Now, instead of closing this window, we can also click on this icon right here. And when it brings us to the sampler view again, let's click on the plus sign and let's choose again chord pad uh, 2. Let's create the same chord progression, nice and simple, like so. And now let's go back at the beginning and play. the volume of the pad too high so let's go to the mixer clicking down here and reduce that and uh, let's try again Let's, um, let's close these, uh, um, the mixer view. Okay, and again, you can continue like this. Let me show you how to add the uh, bass. So we add another instrument track. Let's choose guitar and bass, bass and the second bass here. Let's go to the view of the sampler. Let's add again 
the same um, chord progression from chord but um, two like so and then let's add um, now uh, another uh, instance of uh, arpa two this time i'm going to have only four steps like so i'm going to reduce the rate to a quarter like so and um, let's go back at the beginning and play I have lowered the octave on steps number one and three to give you that arpeggiated up and down um, effect on the bass. So let's click close again, go right back at the beginning, click play. <laughs> So again, let's go further. Why not? Let's try to add this time a audio unit and let's scroll down and let's choose something from Brambros Hammerhead. Really, really a nice um, um, drum machine. Now let's um, um, this time use something like uh, step pad and uh, let's just create uh, uh, let's use just only four steps and we deactivate the second and the fourth okay we just choose the chromatic sale because i want to be able to tap on every uh, note because that helps me to lower this down to a d f um sorry a d flat three which hopefully will be that kick sound let's try <laughs> right so i can go here and just say okay please add the chorus and let's play with it I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. As you can see, adding MIDI effects to N Track Studio Pro is a welcome addition. You can do much, much more now using all the nice AUV3 MIDI effects available on the iOS platform. Okay, see you next time. Bye.